Please, sir. Ben said we need to get problem. No, no, please, sir. Believe me, please. I swear. I swear. Please. A flight from Lagos, Nigeria, has just landed. At the desk is Officer Bali Ruprai. She's been part of the passport team at Heathrow for almost seven years. Just take your passports and your landing card. OK, just the one passport, yeah? Yes. All the passengers have passed through, except for one. Yes. This man says he's a security guard in London and has permission to work here. But his passport has a fake document. Officer Ruprai has noticed the stamp belongs to a woman. We have an indefinite leave stamp which is in the document. Um, this has, the pages that the stamp is on has simply been taken out of somebody else's genuine passport um, and, and stitched into this document. To get this far on a false document, he will have completely avoided the British High Commission in Lagos and hoodwinked airline staff on boarding the plane. Is this you? OK, um, I just need you to come with me. Right, I'm, I'm going to go downstairs to search your bags. OK? You, you, do you know why we've stopped you today? OK, you, we're not happy with your document. Is this your document? No? It is your now document. it's time for a bag search with Officer Ruprai and her colleague, Officer Televanto. What, what, what's your real name? My name is Okpebwa Benson. Sorry? Okpebwa Benson. OK. Wh whose is this passport? I have a problem for you, I told OK. You. Answer the question, please. This passport, who does it belong to? The passport? Yeah. There's somebody that gave it to me. I normally okay. call him Uncle London. Okay, I have a problem fine. at home now. Right. We need to search your bags. And then, OK, one second. We need to search your bags, and then after we will go upstairs and we will talk about what problem you have. OK? First thing is, where did you get the passport from? Yeah, the good Samaritan I gave it to A me. good Samaritan? Yeah, yeah. Good Samaritans forge passports nowadays. Yeah. In Lagos. In yeah, Lagos? So yeah, yeah. So I first everything to him. OK. I told him everything that happened. OK. OK. This, this looks like a crib sheet. It says here, where do you work? Um, I am a security officer in Oak Kent Road. These are the, the answers that you were giving us on the desk. I'm just is doing it, it, it on my own, sir, because I know... That is, is that correct? Isn't that what you said on the desk? You did yeah. say that I work on the Oak Kent Road. Is that correct? Yeah? It, that, that is correct, isn't it? Yeah. OK. What else are you not telling us? OK, you keep saying you've got problems. Yeah. We, we've told you we'll come to those later. OK, we'll but for us to be able to help you, you have to be honest with us now. Yeah, okay. I'm no, no point being, yeah, yeah, no point telling us any, um, any stories. So what is your real name again? Sorry, I've forgotten. My name? Your real name, yeah. My name? Yes. Benson. Benson. Can you just write on the back of this card your date of birth? 17th September 1993. Yes, sir. 17 September 1993. That makes you, by my crude calculations, 15. Yeah, yeah. You're 15 years old. Yeah. Well, by 17th of uh, September, I will become 16. You on the 17th of September. Okay. The officers yeah. suspect that Benson has been trained in Nigeria to beat the UK immigration system. Okay. He's claiming to be 15. Um, he doesn't appear to be 15. It's possible that he is um, claiming to be a minor um, because it's more difficult to remove minors from the United Kingdom. Um, this is something we will be continuing to look at. It's going to come place him into the holding room. OK, Benson, I need you to get up, please. Are you tired? Sorry? OK, well, I'm going to take you into another room where you're going to be a bit more comfortable. You can have something to eat there and have something to drink, OK? If you just want to come through with me. Benson, just follow me. Now, there's no one in Italy because the, she is already dealing with your case. And you, you'll be given yes, plenty sir. of opportunity to. Yes, no, no, no. You'll I'm be given opp opportunity to. I swear, I swear. You'll I swear. be interviewed further. Okay, there's Benson. There's no need to Benson. do like this, okay? Benson, please, sir. Benson, we need to get I have a problem. No, no, please, sir. Believe me, please. I swear. I swear. Please. Listen. 
I run you... away. Look at my brush. Look at my two brush. See. Okay, calm, calm down, calm down, calm down, Elliot. Calm, calm down, first. calm down. Benson claims to have run away. If he's telling the truth, he's a vulnerable child in a foreign country. But it could all be part of his plan to get into the UK. Officer Rupri suspects he's been coached and is referring this case to her chief immigration officer. What's interesting is, is the crib notebook that we found in his bags. Um, we've got questions like, you know, where do you live in London? His response, where in London do you live? And, it, you know, it's listed the address exactly uh, where. Yes. Um, an interesting one, how do you like the airport um, or get to the airport to your house? Um, I take the underground tube and it lists w which ones he should be getting to get himself there. Um, but that's quite interesting. For yeah, they've obviously prepared him, haven't they, yeah. or tried to prepare him? I may ask him in yeah, an interview and, and see exactly what he says. Just take a seat. Take a seat on that side there. We have this document that is not yours. Do you agree with me? OK. This document contains an indefinite leave stamp. Whose stamp is this? The person I bought this thing from. What is the name of that person? We normally call him Uncle London. Uncle? London. London. Okay, why do you have a notebook and why do you have questions in there regarding what, what you're doing here in the UK? After I bought this thing from the boy, person, so I said, when I get to London, so I, where, where will I go? Yeah. He said, okay, let me, he said I should just say I'm working in a construction site. How do you know Uncle London? When I get to Lagos to see my friend, my friend not take me there. So since I have a problem, I should go and meet him so that he can just give me a helping out. You say you're 15, is that correct? Yes, sir. OK. Um, what do you do at home in Nigeria? I'm a student, sir. A student? Yes, sir. And where do you study? Sir? Where do you study? I study at the Kuchebo Grammar School. When did you join this high school? That was 19, 1990. 1990? Yes. Alright, so you... Not, uh, I said 1990. 2006. 2006? Yeah. Alright. So you mentioned 1990. No, I said I, 1990. If I went to school 1990, by now I was supposed to be a graduate. Right, okay. I, I want to say 2006 right. because I'm in jail three. Okay, so... Just so to satisfy my curiosity, why did you mention that 1990 date? Huh? Why did you mention that 1990 I want to date? mention 2000. Me looking at you people, let me just tell you something. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm afraid. Okay. I believe that you're you're not 15. I'm 15. T yes. To me, you look older than 15. I'm 15. Okay. How will I believe that you are 15? I'm 15. How will I believe that? Take it from me. Okay. When when you arrived, Benton, you lied to the immigration officer. Earlier, you lied and said this was your passport. Huh? So how, how can I believe you? No, that was initially just, um, I'm afraid, I don't know what to say. Okay, at the moment, you don't have a visa in this document which is genuinely being issued to you. So we will be refusing you and returning you to Lagos. How do you feel about that? No, please, no. Please, please. Please, sir. Okay, okay, please. Benson, okay, Benson, please, please. Benson, Benson, I need you to look at me. Take a seat, sit there and talk to me and tell me what your problem is, and then I can help you. Why can't I send you back to Nigeria? Because this passport has then a... I'm not in safe hands. Okay, why are you not in safe hands? I lost my dad and my mom. So, after the burial ceremony, I'm at home alone, so I saw the money there brought from the bank. So I collected the whole money. You took you took money from where? I said I lost my dad and my mom. Okay. So after the burial ceremony, so they now they now say we should go and bring the money here. So after keeping the money, I went there and I collected the money. What what happened? Both of them died on the same day. I'm robbers, thieves came to our house. So they said they want money. So then my father is not with money. So the other thief now tell him, say, you should waste those people since they don't have money. 
Right. So that is how it happened. So they shot the two of them. After rushing them to hospital, they died. The family of my father, they have family. That is what I'm talking. That is why I, 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 I went to Lagos. What will happen if you go back to Nigeria? They want to kill me. That is just the simple truth. So, so what do you want from us today? I just want you people to keep me in safe hands. Safe okay. hands. And, and how do you think we can do that? You can just... I don't know. I don't know. You know I'm a stranger. Yes, I don't know. I just beg so that you can help me. So are you saying that you wish to claim asylum while you're here in the UK? I don't know the meaning of asylum. If, if you want us to help you, you need to keep telling the truth. I will always tell you the truth, and that is just the truth. Listen, I swear. I mean, okay, but yeah, which is fine, but you're telling us you're 15 years old and we don't believe you. I'm 15 we just, years old. Okay, and we need to establish that. We, we need to find out your real age. So if you help us, we can help you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay? If you just want to come through. If you want to take your Holy Bible, you can. We've interviewed him. Um, he is wanting us to help him because he has a problem back in Nigeria. Um, I've put it to him, does he wish to claim asylum? He said he's not fully aware of it. However, he can't go back to Nigeria because he said his family members will kill him. Okay, then, so from here, really, we need to... We need to think about getting social services involved and um, processing his case yes. for asylum. They don't believe he's a child of 15. They think he's in his early 30s. But without proof either way, they follow the rules and hand him over to social services for an age test. Whilst waiting for this test, he was placed in a house in southeast London. He has since vanished and his country...